Lisa, this is quite possibly the calm before the storm. No rain, no snow just yet, but crews here in Ross Township are gearing up for all of that. And look at this. They have 5,500 tons of salt on hand. This is their defense mechanism against these slick conditions. And they told us, hey, we're not running out anytime soon. It's going to be horrible. Another round of wintry weather will be here before you wake up and people in Ross Township say they're not taking any chances for the early morning storm. Keep an eye on schools uh, to see if there's any delays and then drive carefully if there's none. I possibly will work from home rather than going to the office <laughs> because that just seems a smarter choice, especially if it's supposed to hit directly during rush hour. Show you what we got here. Only Channel 11 got an inside tour of the Ross Township Public Works garage where plows are stocked and loaded with salt. By 4 a.m., 18 trucks will hit the roads. We'll attack the storm at that point. We have plows on the trucks, chains on the trucks, and salt on the trucks, and we're ready to go. Each and every tire has chains and bungee cords attached to take on the tricky terrain. I think the, the ice factor makes it a little more complicated, but we're ready for the ice. Whatever comes, we'll, we'll take care of it. The city of Pittsburgh also ready to roll. The Department of Public Works crews started pre-treating the roads with salt and liquid calcium chloride tonight with about 70 trucks out. And back out here live right here in Ross Township. They actually didn't throw any of this salt down tonight because they say there is still excess salt left on those roadways. Of course, they're going to closely monitor the conditions and their big message tonight was patience to all drivers when they see the trucks out there in the early morning hours. Reporting live tonight in Ross Township, Mike Holden, Channel 11 News. All right, Mike, surrounded by salt there. There's no street parking in Mount Lebanon overnight. That's so crews can clear paths to treat the roads.